You guys want to see what's in my CES bag? All right, so this is gonna be a super informal video. I actually wasn't planning on doing one of these, but I ran a poll on Twitter and literally 100% of respondents said, yes, do one. So this is kind of impromptu and I'm filming it on my iPhone. So please forgive the video quality. But this is what's in my CES bag 2017. I'll be leaving for Vegas in a couple days and all this stuff is gonna come, is gonna come with me. So we start off with this, this is Something that you guys are probably familiar with if you watch videos on my channel. This is my 2016 or late 2016 GTX 1060 razor blade. This is going to be my primary or my only, I suppose, uh, video editing station. Uh, I've done it before with this laptop and it works great. The rendering is obviously slightly slower than on my main or significantly slower than on my main system, but it is still fast enough to be perfectly serviceable. So this is what I'm gonna to use to edit and upload all my footage. This is the camera that I use for all of my videos. Uh, this is the Panasonic Lumix G7. I, uh, this is just the kit lens that I'm bringing with me. It's fine for the purposes that I need. It's sharp enough and it picks up enough detail and it's small. So this is my primary camera and I love this camera. This, this has basically almost all the features of the G4 while being like half the price. I'll be carrying this around uh, basically everywhere I go. This is a camera cage, uh, this and this. This is actually a specialized camera cage for the Lumix G7. This is this holds batteries uh, and this is, uh, it, it, it basically, it, it, it boosts the battery life by uh, probably triple or quadruple what the, uh, the standard batteries are for this. So this actually houses special batteries that I actually forgot to put on this table. But the, uh, this cable right here actually hooks in to uh, that port right there. And this is the on off switch. And you get ridiculous battery life when you have this mounted in the cage with this handle on top that you could basically shoot for several hours, like four or five hours in a row and you'll be fine. So I'm bringing, uh, this holds two batteries, I'm bringing four of them plus the charger, um, plus I have the regular batteries that go in the Lumix. So I should be set as far as batteries go. But this cage is also helpful because it has, or I, I put shoe mounts on it and it holds other accessories. It has this little handle thing uh, and I'll get to what else I'm putting on this in a second. So this is my monopod. This is a Young Tang monopod. And I actually really like this because the feet are super solid and stable and very easy to operate. And then the head that comes pre-mounted is actually not at all bad for panning. So it's a very smoothly operating head. It's almost like a fluid head, but not quite. And so I'll be able to do some pans uh, using this head without really compromising a whole heck of a lot. So that's one of the reasons that I went with this. It was a you know moderately expensive unit. It wasn't super expensive, but it wasn't the cheapest one. Uh, it's nice and light and very portable. I mean, it folds down to, to this big. So this, is, this gets mounted to the back of my bag. This is how I'm gonna be doing the audio when I'm there. This is a Zoom H4n Pro. This is a Hisonic HS308L, and it actually has a separate wireless receiver. So basically the wireless module plugs in to the XLR output of the microphone, the receiver plugs into the zoom, and then I could be, you know, 20, 30, 40 feet away and still recording audio on the zoom. So it's actually gonna come in really handy when I'm gonna set up my monopod somewhere and then uh, shoot, you know, something that's 10 or, 10 or 15 feet away if I'm doing like an interview or something along those lines. This is gonna be a backup microphone. This is just a lav mic. This is a Vid Pro lav mic. It was like 25 bucks. It's not at all expensive or super high end, but it actually, I, I, I use this for audio on, in my videos quite a bit uh, early on in the channel's life. And it, the cord, the reason I'm bringing it is the cord is, I, I've never seen a longer cord on a microphone. Um, and I could, if I, in an emergency situation, 
I could use this for audio instead of these if for some reason these aren't working. This will plug directly into the, uh, the G7. So for my primary headphones, um, these are these have been my headphones for years. These are Pioneer HDJ 2000s. I got these because I used to DJ and these are DJ headphones, but the sound quality, the reproduction is, is really good. Uh, isolation is really good and this is what I'm going to use while I'm editing. Uh, these are actually, this is a review sample that I got in uh, that I'm that I'm still uh, working on the review for. But if you guys watched my review of the Psycho Audio gaming headset, these are by the same company. These are called Cranks. And this is, I think, Exio Entertainment makes these. Um, but these are like $150 Bluetooth headphones and they sound pretty good. Uh, but the thing is, this is a, you know, it's a crowded market and Exio is not a very well-known company. So, um, they sent these over to me for some exposure and, and a review and, and I'm working on it. So I'm actually going to use these on the plane and that's how I'm going to do the review because I have five hours there, five hours back and planes aren't the quietest setting. So this is going to be a good test of their isolation, uh, sound reproduction and, um, and everything else. So hopefully... I get some good use out of these, but these are not going to be used when I'm doing editing. That's going to be these. Uh, got to bring a power bank. I actually wish I had more than one power bank. This is an Anker 10,000 milliamp hour power bank. Um, it's good for what it does. I mean, it's a power bank. It's nothing special. There you go. It lights up. Uh, this is a, a sample that uh, Corsair sent over to me for review, and this is how I'm going to be doing a review of this. This is a Corsair Harpoon RGB. Uh, I think it's I think it's new. I, I actually don't know for sure, but I think it's a it's a relatively new product. And uh, I mean, I've tried it out. Obviously, I've used it some, and it's it seems like a good metal so far. It's very very light, so it's made for gamers who like to you know pick the mouse up a lot. Uh, but I'm going to be using it on this trip uh, to do my editing with because it's it's very portable. So, uh, got some business cards here. These are BPS Customs. Business cards. Uh, this is an, a Verizon MiFi um, Patriot Supersonic Magnum 2 flash drive. I did a video on this. This is absurdly fast. This little dongle here. This is this is break in case of emergency. This is an adapter that allows you to plug a microphone into uh, the headphone jack of an iPhone. So if for some reason everything else fails and I need to use my iPhone, I could use this to plug a microphone into. You need tools because I guarantee you something will break. Uh, also, I'm going to have to put together the, uh, the cage when I get there because uh, that's kind of, I had to break that down to fit it into the bag. Uh, but I brought my iFix toolkit, a little multi-tool, and some needle nose pliers. I'm actually considering not bringing needle nose pliers because there's actually needle nose pliers on here, but these are a little small. So I don't know, maybe I'll bring this. Um, we got our Southwest drink coupons, which are key, uh, and then obviously just a charger and a little dongle because I have a, a iPhone 7 Plus. This is the actual bag itself, and this thing is pretty badass. Uh, I just got this the other day, and it's from Tamarack. See, Tamarack, there we go. Uh, but it is specifically for holding uh, photo gear. It's got all these pockets on the outside, along with these straps are what's going to hold the monopod, the monopod is just going to kind of be mounted right down there on my back as I walk around. But on the inside, you can see it has a million different customizable compartments. I've actually removed uh, some of the foam inserts to make to customize this to the shape that I need. And then up here, it has some more compartments. Uh, and you can see I'm going to bring some batteries, some cables, whatnot. So that's it. This is what's in my CES bag. This is actually the CES bag, and this is what's in it. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I know that uh, this was, like I said, kind of impromptu, but I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, you will see a lot more from me from CES in the next couple days. Stay tuned.